been tipped off that a man had been killed in your club. Brilliant. My phone? The tip was correct. Please call the investigators. Yeah, they should bring more body bags. We'll be needing many. Many more. scare my clients. They can come through the back door. Are there cameras here? The cameras are in the public area. There's no signal here. Uh-uh. Please step back. I wouldn't touch him if I were you. You know withholding evidence is still an offense, right? Well, if it's an offense, wouldn't it be better to wait for your team altogether in my office? Am I right? If something goes wrong, we'll put all the blame on us. It doesn't make sense. The guard was already dead and posed no threat. Yet the attacker didn't leave just yet. He stayed put to hang the body. I guess he drank too much. Maybe went all Rambo. No, a drunk man wouldn't tackle him like that. It's far too complicated and it wouldn't make sense. It's a message. For someone right here. Because apparently, the killer knew that there's only one man who would get the complete report. Are you serious? Just because I own this club, you think I'm a bad guy too, is that right? No. Just the type that leaves corpses behind. Are you telling me I should call my lawyer? No, not yet. But you have a right to do so. starting to make sense.
walking towards him. This someone was clearly part of my staff. My guys wouldn't let him go without a fight. What's this mess here, huh? Pretty classic distraction. Your guest spilled a bottle of water. And while the guard was busy cleaning up, he snuck right behind his back. You think it was a guard? It could have been any of the staff. Look carefully at the floor. Do you see how thoroughly it's been cleaned? Even the walls and corners are dry. I highly doubt that your cleaner is usually so diligent. Someone was watching him. Who would intimidate him other than a security guard? Clean this up. Mr. Suhanov, maybe you should consider getting a better guard. Ready for more? I can't wait to find out what other tricks this mysterious guest has. Wait, you idiot. Can you tell it's not ready yet?
Hey, buddy. Do me a favor. Hand me the screwdriver. Yeah. Got it? You got it, bud? Uh -huh. Thanks a lot. About an hour ago. I'd say 30 minutes, no more. Mr. Sukhanov! Mr. Sukhanov! I remember. He had a tattoo on his neck. Some sort of Chinese writing, I don't know. Mr. Suhanov, do you know anybody with a tattoo like that? I don't. I think it would interest him.
It's Maxon. He's done. How did he find out? How the hell do I know? You tell me. He's gonna feed you! Feed you to the dogs for this! He's old school, you know. He blows up for every little thing. Wait, 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 stop, 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 I'll speak. You must have gone down the hall. It's the only possible way. Let's go. Did you not hear what I just said? This is private property. The only reason you're allowed here is to find who's killing my men. So we're gonna keep moving. And you're gonna do your fucking job. Who's this? Do you know this woman? Siana? What's in there? Some dry paint. The workers didn't put the lid back on. Where are you going? Getting my daughter. Who is Maxim? The guy who's lying between cans of paint.
We should probably head back. There's only one way out of here, through the warehouse. On this picture, there's a young man standing next to your daughter. Who is he? As you can see, my daughter is young and beautiful. There's always a bunch of guys that want to hang out with her. I need you to go and check the stash while I distract her. Do you keep newspaper clippings about all of her suitors? Father called today. Next time around, you'll have to take even more with you. Sounds good. Yana's been in charge of the club. She's been the manager here for several months now. Are you gonna need her phone number? There's no use. She's not answering anyway. Don't worry, we'll ask her about this newspaper clippings. When she calls back. Mr. Suhanov. I believe that the time has come for you to contact your lawyer. Hey, boss. Where's the gun? Get down! Away from the window! He's close by. Close all the blinds. Lock the door. You may get up now. I really think we should- We need backup now. How many? All of them. I'll do everything I can within my power and more. But I'll find the bastard. But we don't need backup. Where is this room? It's a good thing you're still here. I believe it's a bad idea to make impulsive choices. Would you rather be gunned down then?
You can go now. Either way, you've lost the game. Explain. Well, a man you don't know, but who knows your daughter very well, saunters through your labyrinth, as if he had a map. Mr. Suhanov, you have so many rooms here, but he was only interested in two of them. The only two rooms with video surveillance. Hmm. You hid something in there, and he found this something. Am I right? While you're trying to intimidate us, our guest already emptied the second bag and escaped. It's a trick to divert attention. A wolf chased a rabbit, and it was a mistake. Let's search the second room. I'm sure he also left something for you in there. Mr. Suhanov, before you enter this room, let me ask you one more time. Is there anything you'd like to say? been a shooting at Paradise Nightclub. Some dead and wounded. Search the room where they stored the chairs. You'll find a stash of cocaine in the air vent. What's next? I just want a good night's sleep. <laughs> Good evening, this is Kamishlav Daly. Could you please comment for our readers on the arrest and consequent suicide of Valerie Sverdlov? What's there to comment? We barely knew each other, you know. When did he die? 40 days ago. Ah, I read about him. He was selling drugs or something, right? No, he didn't sell drugs. He was just a courier. What's the difference? I believe that 
Everyone involved in the drug business deserves a similar fate. Don't you agree? Thanks so much. Why I can't receive I'm too messed up to believe 